so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i'll be covering column d that was reset k edges from at around 136 and this problem was not that hard in terms of logic but it was a bit tricky in terms of implementation so i would recommend you guys to not look at my code and try to implement it yourself but if you guys face any problem then you guys are more than welcome to see my code or take some tips from my code and then implement it on your own right so let's start with the problem now so in the problem uh, we have been given a tree with n nodes where n is up to 10 to the power 5 and the tree has been rooted at 1 so root is equal to 1 for example something like 1 2 3 4 and 5 Right, so you have uh, trees like these, right? So you want to minimize the height of these trees, right? So you want to minimize the height of tree. And to minimize the height of the tree, you have been given an operation. In, in this operation, you can choose any edge. For example, we can choose this 3, 5 edge. You can remove this edge and instead make a new edge from root to the node, right? For example, let's call this U, let's call this V. So you can remove the edge between u and v and you can make a new edge between root and v. Right? For example, after applying operation, you will get something like 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Then we can again apply the same operation on 3, 4, remove this edge and connect 1, 2, 4. So you will get something like 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Right, as you can see, now the height is 1, right, height is 1, but previously, here, height was equal to 2, right, so you have decreased the height from 2 to 1. So you can apply these operations on the tree to minimize the height of the tree, but there is also a limit, you can apply at most k operations, you can apply at most k operations. And you have to tell the minimum height you can achieve using these k operations. Minimum height using at most k operations so that is the problem uh, given a tree that is rooted at one uh, you can apply some operations in one option you can uh, remove a edge and add the edge between root and the node and you can apply this operation at most k times and you have to find the minimum height that you can obtain after using this operation at most k times right so how can we uh, do this So as you see, we have to find the minimum height, right? And whenever you have to find something minimum, the very first thing that you should think about is binary search. So the first step is check if binary search is applicable. So for that, we can draw the graph and check. This is my x, which is height. And this is, let's say, my answer, h min. And on the y axis, we can check that if height less than or equal to x can be made or achieved in less than or equal to k operations, right? As my answer is h min, right? It is never possible to achieve a height less than h min. So the answer is no on the left side. And on yes, on and on the right side, you can always apply operations to get height less than or equal to x in less than or equal to k operation, right? So the answer is always yes on the right side. So you can see that we can now do binary search for h min, right? Because there is a clear demarcation between uh, no and yes, right? So now the second step is writing the check function. Because you have to check for every value of mid if it if it lies on the yes side or if it lies on the no side, right? So how can we write this check function? So let's see that. So now you want to check if height less than or equal to mid can be achieved using less than or equal to k operations. So how can you do this? So you can just do a greedy approach on this right because you only want to apply operations when it is absolutely needed so you only apply operations 
when it is absolutely needed and when it, uh, and when is it absolutely needed when your height of sub tree is equal to uh, mid right so you will only apply operation when your height of subtree be becomes equal to mid right because if your height of subtree is less than mid why will you ever, ever apply an operation right because it will just paste your operations so you can just do a greedy approach you can run a dfs and whenever your height of subtree becomes equal to mid you can apply an operation and in the end you can check if your number of operations is, is less than equal to k or not right so that is the entire approach but there are some like uh, edge cases that you need to be care that you need to be careful about right so i will show you an example how we will do this so let's say we are checking for two right let's say my mid is equal to two so we are checking for two and let's say my tree is something like this one two three four and let's say my k is also equal to two here five six seven eight nine and right it is something like this so first uh, we will do a dfs right so i will come here i will go to five then to eight then to nine then to ten my height here is how much my height here is one my height is how much my height here is two right so as you can see my mid was equal to two so i have to break here right because my now my height of subtree is equal to two right my height of subtree is equal to two and be sure that i am measuring height in number of nodes i am not counting edges here i am counting the height of subtree in number of nodes right so as you can see here my number of nodes are equal to two right so i will have to break here and i will have to connect here right so my number of operations are now equal to one so now the height of this eight is how much it is equal to one right so now again i will come to come to this side here it is one it is two right again it is equal to two so i will again have to break here so i, I, will, I will again break here and connect here right so now my number of operations are equal to two so one so now my new tree looks something like this i have one we have two i have three i have four I have five and eight. I have nine and ten, and I have six and seven. I still have to do a DFS on two and three, so I will go here. Here it is one, right? Here it is two. Again, my height is equal to two, but if I break here and I I and if I join again, it makes no sense, right? So you will only break. You will only break. If you, if if your parent is not the root itself, right? So you have to add an extra condition here. If your height is equal to mid and your parent is not equal to root, is not equal to root, because if you if your parent is root and you break the edge and you join again, it makes no sense, right? So we so you will only break if your parent is not the root node. And again, if you come here. the height of this subtree is 1 so it will not make any difference right so as you can see in two operations so the so the number of op operations required here are how much the number of operations required are equal to 2 and number of operations are less than equal to k right so you can achieve height of 2 so you can achieve height of 2 in k operations so you can say that your answer of check of 2 is equal to yes but if we try to check for let's say one if we try to try to do the same thing for check of let's say one we have one we have two we have three let me write it better we have three we have four we have five six seven eight nine and 10 right so again we will do the same thing we will do a dfs right we will go down height of this is equal to 1 right and again as height is equal to mid we will have to break this edge right so we will break this edge and add it from 1 to 10 number of operations are how much it is equal to 1 now again 
height of 9 is 1 again so we will ha also have to break the edge from 8 and 9 and we have to connect again again we have to remove the edge from 5 to 8 and you have to connect again from 1 to 8 right so as you can see number of operations is equal to 2 is equal to 3 right so we have applied 3 operations and number of op operations are already more than 2 number of operations are more than k so the answer in this case is no so you can say check of 1 is equal to no right so using this check function you can easily check if you can achieve this height or not and that is enough for your binary search and if you guys want to see the code for this here's the code so i am keeping the uh, i will start from the solve function so i am taking in n and k that is number of nodes and the number of operations that, that i can do i will build out my tree then i will start from low equal to one answer is equal to n right then i will do a binary search so then i will check if i am able to achieve the height equal to mid or not if i am able to achieve mid my answer is equal to mid and i will update my high is equal to mid minus one otherwise i will update my low is equal to mid plus one so let's go into the check function now so in my check function i have moves is equal to zero if m is more than one then i will do a dfs otherwise i can easily find the number of moves uh, in o of one right so i was having some issues implementing this for m is equal to one so i wrote a separate case for m is equal to one you can also do the do the same thing in the dfs that is up to you but i wrote a separate case when your mid is equal to one right so if your mid is equal to one uh, your number of moves that you require are uh, n minus one minus the number of nodes that are already adjacent to the root right so that is when m is equal to one otherwise you will run a dfs here i am i am using a dfs so i will keep my height of subtree and right so i will iterate over all the all the children and i will keep track of size of my subtree right so if my size of subtree or height of my subtree is equal to m and my parent is not the root node right because here as you as you as you were able to see i can only apply this operation when my parent is not equal to root or i am not the root itself right so if my size is equal to m that is my height is equal to m my parent is not root and i am not root myself i will apply the number of operations right and as you have removed this node now right like for example if you are in a subtree you have one and two let's say your mid is equal to uh, let's draw one more board so you have one and two right let's say your mid is equal to two now so you will have to break this edge right so when you break this edge it, it, the following node will not contribute anything uh, anything to the height of three right because you have already removed node four so whatever the height of node four was it will not contribute anything to the height of node three so you can say that it will just return zero to three right because it will not contribute it will not contribute any, any anything to three right so that is why when you remove a node you will return zero otherwise you can just uh, otherwise you can just give the size of the subtree right and in the end if your number of moves are less than equal to k answer is yes otherwise the answer is no right and that is the entire solution so if you guys have a doubt feel free to ask me in the comments and i'll be more than happy to answer or you can join my discord server and i am i am quite active there or i will solve your doubts there right and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye also, if you guys don't know, Continue Newton School is offering a full stack development course. The course is uh, over six months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything. There is zero hidden fees, there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees 5 lakhs and the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs. So it is a very great opportunity. Also, all their mentors are from top MNCs like Google, Flipkart, Zomato, etc. Also, they will get you placed into the top MNCs as well, like Google, Flipkart, Zomato. Uh, so, uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourselves. Also, you don't need to worry if you guys think that I don't coding, I don't have fresh coding, the course is over 6 months long and they will teach you from scratch so you can still sign up for this and if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field this is a very uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for and if you uh, want to land a job i highly uh, i highly vouch for this and uh, if you guys want to sign up there will be a link down below and you can go and sign up from there so yeah be sure to sign up for this and i will see you in the next video Bye bye